Today we're going to walk through the use of the Lexile Analyzer. The Lexile Analyzer can be used to obtain Lexile measures on a variety of texts. The Lexile Analyzer is free to registered users and can be found at Lexile.com. That's www.lexile.com. Once you arrive at the site, click the Use Lexile Measures tab found at the top of the screen and you'll see a variety of tools to choose from. You'll want to choose Lexile Analyzer located here. Once on the Lexile Analyzer page, you will find detailed directions for using the analyzer on the left hand side of the screen, including which sorts of text can be measured, how to go about preparing the text for measurement. You will also find directions for typing or scanning your text into the analyzer in order to be measured, as well as directions on how to convert a uh, text file into a plain text file in order for the analyzer to be able to process that information. Resources that can be measured using the Lexile Analyzer include things like newspaper and magazine articles, essays or books, short stories or reading selections. But you'll also notice that other forms of text like student writing, poetry, songs, or multiple choice questions should not be measured using the Lexile Analyzer. Today we're going to walk through one way in which a Lexile measure can be obtained using the analyzer. Today we're going to select and measure an online article. You'll notice that to use the analyzer you must be a registered user. Registration is free. If you've never registered, just click register here to get started. If you already have an active account, you can sign in at any time. I'll sign in using my username and password. And once I've signed in, I'm now ready to use the Lexile Analyzer. Scroll about halfway down the page to go ahead and access the My Tools section, including the Lexile Analyzer. Here I'll want to select the English Lexile Analyzer if that's if I'm wanting to analyze English language text. I'm now logged in and ready to use the Lexile Analyzer. To use the analyzer, you'll see it's a simple process where I simply choose the file I wish to analyze and then click Submit. Right now I don't have a file, so we're going to go ahead and select an online article that we wish to analyze. Once I've selected my article, I'll want to go ahead and copy and paste the text found in the article. So here I'm going to copy as much of the article as I can. I'm going to right click and select copy. From here I'm going to open up a Word document from Microsoft Office and paste what I have copied into the Word document. Once I've done that, I'll need to go through and delete any captions or bylines, titles, pictures, illustrations, hyperlinks, audio or video files, anything that would interfere with the analyzer's ability to process this text. So let's go ahead and do that now. For items like pictures, I'll be able to just select and hit delete. Any anywhere I see a hyperlink, I can go ahead and highlight it and then simply select remove hyperlink remember I'll also want to edit out any incomplete sentences In the event that I'm unable to remove a hyperlink, I can either delete the word or retype the word. And so once I've completed the editing process, 
Now comes the most important step for preparing a document for the Lexile Analyzer. Because the analyzer will not read a Word document, it's important to save your document as a plain text file. So to do that, I go to the File drop-down and select Save As. Once there, I'll want to save my document somewhere where I'll be able to find it. So in this case, I'm going to save it to the easiest place to find it, which is the desktop. Once I've done that, I want to name my document and for our purposes here document one will suffice but I want to be sure to go to the save as type drop down from there I may have to scroll just a little ways until I find plain text once I find plain text I want to make the change so that I'm saving as type plain text onto my desktop and I'm gonna hit save now from here you're going to receive a file conversion pop-up that, Kyle, the, that file conversion pop-up will require you to make just a couple steps. The first step is to go ahead and select the other encoding. From there, I'm going to scroll through the window until I find US ASCII or US-ASCII. -I. And you may have to scroll a little ways to find it. In this case, it popped up right away. So we'll want to select US ASCII. And the last thing I'll want to do is select Allow Character Substitution. Once I've completed those three steps, I then simply select OK. And my file is now saved as a plain text file on my desktop. Once that step is completed, I'm now ready to analyze the document. So to do so, I'm going to return to the Lexile Analyzer. And remember, the analyzer is set up in the same way uh, that one would attach a document uh, to an email. Uh, all I'm asked to do here is to choose a file. In this case, we're going to go ahead and select the file that we just saved as a plain text file. So I'm going to return to my desktop. And you can see that document one is now saved as both a Word document and a plain text file. I want to reiterate that it's important that I select the plain text document and not the Word document, as the analyzer is not set up to analyze uh, Word documents. To select the file, I really just double click and once I do that, I click the Submit button. And as you can now see, I have a Lexile measure on that particular article. In addition to the Lexile measure, I'm given some additional information like mean sentence length and some information on the mean log word frequency and also the word count. So in this instance, we can see that the word count of this particular article was 411 words and that the Lexile measure is 1410. And so I now have an analysis of, the, uh, of this particular article. I can go right back into the analyzer and choose another file if I have a second or third file I need to analyze. I can also review my usage history by clicking here on usage of the Lexile Analyzer. Now, the analyzer does not save those documents, but it does save a history of when I analyzed a file and some basic information, for example, the date, the word count, and of course the, the Lexile measure. So that's really all there is to it. If you get lost, be sure to follow the steps as outlined on the left-hand side of the screen. And remember, be sure to save any document as a plain text file uh, and not as a Word document. Hope that helps, and please feel free to email us with any questions.